Hello National 5, in this video we're going to talk a bit about how a website is structured. By the end of this video you'll be able to explain the term URL, you'll be able to describe the structure of a website and particularly what sitemaps are, and you'll be able to describe the different kinds of hyperlinks and addressings that we can use in a website. So by now you've probably built lots of different web pages, but it's important to understand what a website is. Okay, a website is a collection of web pages, so more than one HTML document which all relate to one particular topic. So for example, all the information on the Sky website is information about Sky's television, broadband and mobile packages. All the information on the UEFA Champions League is all about the teams and everything related to the UEFA Champions League. Scout Scotland is the place to go to find all the information about scouting in Scotland. Disney.co.uk is the place to find all you need to know about Disney and at the moment there's a high focus on Disney Plus. So a website is a collection of pages all about one particular topic or thing. We'll have a look at one website in particular and look at how a website is structured. So the website we're going to look at is called the Ethical Dairy. So this is the Ethical Dairy homepage and you can see from the address here it, the web address is theethicaldairy.co.uk and we'll talk a bit more about this web address in a second or two. Here we can have access to multiple pages, home, our story, buy cheese, visit. So when we go into our story, the web address will change to reflect the name of the page that we're looking on. Now the proper name for a web address is a URL, which is a universal resource locator. And it's the human way of understanding web addresses. So it's split up into different parts. The first part, the HTTP or the HTTPS, stands for Hypertext, sorry, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, and the S if it's there stands for Secure, and that's just the way the World Wide Web works. www is World Wide Web. The Ethical Dairy is the domain name, and then .co.uk is traditionally the, the type of business or the type of website you're looking, although that's kind of changed slightly and the forward slash anything after that is the pathway to the file so we can see that this page our story is located in the top level folder of the website if i go and visit the blog again it's located in the top level of the website if i go and have a look at one particular article you can see that this document here march swans is located inside a blog folder. And we can see that here, so we've got our main file which is called index.html and from there we can get to our story and we can get to blog. And as we said, the universal resource locator shows the location of the page. So in this case, we've got our home page, our blog, then we go inside to the blog folder and we get another one. So the main ingredient of a website to build the website and make it all linked together are hyperlinks. So hyperlinks are the links between two or more pages. And there are two different kinds of hyperlinks. There are internal hyperlinks and external hyperlinks. Internal hyperlinks take users to a page within your current website. So we can go from a page in the Ethical Dairy website to another page in the Ethical Dairy website. External hyperlinks are links that take me from a current website to another website that I don't manage. So in the case of the example on the screen here, I can go from the Ethical Dairy website to Twitter. Okay, and I can see the Ethical Dairy's Twitter feed. Interestingly here, you'll notice that the image is also part of the hyperlink because the image is included in the outside A tags. When we're implementing hyperlinks, there are two different addressing methods that we can use. Now, normally, internal hyperlinks will be relative. And that means it's a location within my current website and I know where it is. Okay? They're flexible, so if I move stuff around, they, generally speaking, will work. Okay? Think of relative hyperlinks as you're given a direction from your bedroom in your house to the kitchen. Okay? Relative means you're going from your bedroom straight down to the kitchen. So you probably go down the stairs, along the corridor, first door on the left. 
Okay. The alternative of that is absolute, and these are fixed, they don't move. Okay. So if I'm giving directions from my bedroom to the kitchen and I'm doing it absolute, and then I move my bedroom, those directions no longer work. So absolute addressing would be always going to the front door and directing you from the front door to the kitchen. Okay. And in absolute terms and web addresses, we've got the full www.ethicaldairy.co.uk forward slash ourstory.html. So you've got the full web address. If we go back to these URLs, what we can build from that URL is a sitemap, how all the pages on the website are laid out. So for example, on the Ethical Dairy website, we go onto the home page, and if we look at the website, we can see from here, we have got home, our story, buy cheese, visit, and blog. So these can all be our top level pages. Okay, and from inside the block, blog, sorry, we can access a number of different pages. Okay, now this has changed since I've put the PowerPoint together, but we've got a number of different pages and their access from the blog. So these here are all internal pages to the website. From the home page, I can also get to Facebook and Twitter. And I've given these a dash dot line because they're external. They're websites that I don't manage. So there we have a quick look over how a website is structured. You now understand the terms uh, URL, internal and external hyperlinks, and absolute and relative addressing. And we've also had a wee quick look at why a website map is useful for laying out where your website pages are going to be.